Hey, what's up, guys? This is Roy from Team Nonstop Gaming. I'm coming at you today with a deck of the month for October 2021. Now, I know this deck is a little bit late. It's nearly the end of October. I've just been extremely busy this month, but I wanted to make sure I at least got this out to you. Here is this month's deck of the month. Now, it is a deck I've done previously on my channel. It is Sky Strikers. Now, this is a more updated version of what I played previously. And I've been testing it online, which I will post a video of my testing. And, well, let me know what you guys think. Remember, if you like the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more great Yu-Gi-Oh! content. Anyways, let's get to it. Monster lineup, we got our three Sky Striker Ray. Overall, one of the best monsters in the deck. <clears throat> it just allows you to net so much advantage as well as catch up a lot of people off guard because a lot of people, for some reason, keep forgetting that when you destroy the link, you can special out Ray. They'll go to attack Ray, and you can tag it out for another Sky Striker monster, which helps out a lot in the long run. There's two Sky Striker rows. Basically, spot removal. It doesn't have the quick effect of Ray, but allows you to also get rid of your opponent's cards, as well as special summon it if it's in your hand, and you link summon. So it's not bad. Next, for hand traps, I play three Nibiru, the Primal Being. Now I'm playing 3 Nibiru because I want to nuke my opponent's forward and control the board. 3 Effect Veiler, both because it's a fantastic hand trap, as well as it just helps out in the long run. It does great for the OTK combo, the OG Imperm. Now we play 3 Ash Blossom because it's probably the most versatile hand trap. I know a lot of people are dropping hand traps right now because of Nobleman or a cross out designator, but I just personally feel that hand traps are needed, especially in this deck. Now for the last few hand traps, I'm playing two Ghost Bell for the Tri Brigade matchup and two Skullmeister. That's it for the monsters, let's get down to the spells. Now for spells, we're gonna start off with our three Widow Anchor. This card's a fantastic card right now, negates a monster effect, you can steal it, as well as if you you have engaged and your opponent wants to negate it, you can chain that, negate or and steal their monster and resolve your engage. So, it's really good. Then we play two Shark Cannon. I'm, I've decided to keep it at two, I don't really care for it much at three at the moment, but I have been testing it out with more and less so right now i feel two is the perfect number we also play two area zero the field spell that allows you to excavate top three and look for more sky striker cards as well as when it's destroyed special summon a sky striker from your rave or from your deck next we also play two cosmic cyclone because it's a great spot removal Vanishes the spell and trap instead of destroying it. So I've been mixing between MST and Cosmic for just maybe the thought of popping my own area zero to get advantage is a good idea, but then I end up playing against the Eltledge and lose. So those are mostly in here for the Eltledge matchup. Now we have two foolish burial goods for getting rid of. Basically, we send either a Sky Striker spell that we want to fetch back with Kagari, or we send the Middle Foe Fusion, which nets us an extra card. Now, I'm still playing these in the main board, but two Shared Ride. I've been testing out Desires, and I really don't like Desires in this build. I always find I dis banish something I would rather keep. 
So I figured with enough cert decks out there that are searching right now, Shared Ride's a pretty good option. Especially considering I'm going second. So sometimes I'll s I've been testing either having this in or taking it out for evenly. That and Panker Tops, but anyways. Now for the one ofs, the one mobilize engage, one multi roll, one afterburner, one eagle booster, one hornet drones, the one terraforming, one upstart, and the one reinforcement of the army. Now that's it for the main deck. It's a grand total of 40 cards. Let's get down to the extra. Now for the extra deck, I am playing the one Kagari. I'm just messing with you. Three Kagari. Three Kagari because it lets you get back engaged, multi-roll, anything really that you feel you need from the graveyard. And it also boosts it, boosts itself up by 100 for every spell in the graveyard, which has actually come up in testing. Three Shizuku. Great card. Allows you to search any Sky Striker spell from your deck to your hand during the end phase of the turn it was summoned. Which, thanks to Ray, you can summon it during either player's turn, so it's actually quite useful. Two Sky Striker Hayate. I keep flexing between going two to three, but most of the time I only find I need two of this, so I feel at the moment two is the right number. One Kaina. This card has saved my butt a couple times in testing, but it's a great, it's a decent card. You can win in time with it, but the main thing is to keep your opponent from killing you that turn, and then you turn the tables the following turn. One Zeke. Because Zeke has a lot of Functions in this deck, being able to destroy your opponent's monster after you've negated it in effect and you have no other way of getting rid of it, then you can link it off into a Shizuku, and it just helps out a lot in the long run. One Nightmare Phoenix, pop back row, one Christian Halki Fibrax, one Ningirsu, the World Chalice Warrior, one Celine for the OTK, and of course, the access code talker to finish the OTK. Anyways, that's it for this deck profile. Let's get back to me. All right, now that was the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed. It was a lot of fun to make, and I've really been enjoying testing this deck online. I will admit there are some things I'm thinking about changing after the past month of testing it, and, but, anyways, Thank you all for watching, stay safe, have a great day, and remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Baby, let the light shine through, if you believe it's true.